Hi friends, before we move further with our scripts, it is better you watch our short videos on how to enable PDO support, verifying and creating the connection string and the download and install the sample script with MySQL tables. All the links are available in the description. We are inside our PDO records.php file. This is a simple HTML file with two lines of uh, PHP codes so far uh, we have added and here you can see that require config.php at line number 10. This is nothing but our config file we are creating. This is our config file where we had all details of MySQL, database name, host name, username, password we have fed it and we have created one connection object it is DBO here. This DBO will be using this name you can give anything. So, the next one is the include a menu. This menu is available here you can see this. This is our navigational menu to move to different different pages where you can uh, check our uh, records, update it, reinstall it. Once you have deleted it, you can reinstall all the tables also. So, this is for our help in our uh, understanding this entire uh, script tutorials. So, you can visit the home also and here we are in the list of records. Now, we have kept this as blank because we will be adding the codes here. So, let the menu be here below that will display record here we will start with our SQL first. I am declaring it as SQL. So, we will say select star from student. Student is my sample table name already it is available we have installed it also in our MySQL table. You can download it it is, it is there inside the zip file. Now, we will say the simple one uh, HTML table table now it is at uh, first row and it is a header cell. So, I will use th I will say it is id close it close the header. So, first I will okay let me header I will make it uppercase. Now, I will copy this paste it here use it uh, id then name then comes class then how much mark he got. So, this is our sample data what you have this that is why I am adding the column headers based on that. Now, I will next line here I will start the reading and looping through I will use for each for each now I will use dbo what we have used taken from the config.php file it is we have declared it here in the line number 9 that same dbo I am using it here. I have included at the line here config.php file. So, I am using it here dbo equal to no not equal to. So, I am using query now variable is sql now as row. Now, I will I am inside the loop I will say echo I will first tr now I will say because it is a cell I will declare these are all HTMLs. So, td now, I will say row id. Let me close my cell here. So, what I will do? I will copy this, paste it here. After id, we have used name. So, we will use name here, then we will use class. Next is our mark. So, that is all we will end with close our tr tag and this also fine. Now, we have not closed our table. So, outside the loop we will uh, close our table this html part only fine I will add the semicolon. So, everything is fine let us see it should I saved it now I am refreshing my page yeah you can see all the my four there are sample four rows are there four rows are displayed. I can change the query also to get it say I am telling you can see there are uh, two records of class 4 and two records of class 3 student where class equal to 4. I am saving uh, refresh this you can see only class 4 is there. Now, I will say where uh, Mm, class is 4 now I will say I will I will add a limit. So, I do not want all the record no where no class restriction, but I want two records only I will say limit 0 2 saving it refresh 
it is irrespective of the class, it is the limit two records only. Now, I will display it in the order of the mark, I will say order by mark, what happened by default it is ascending order. So, it will display from the high lowest mark to highest mark, let me save this, yeah saved, refresh, okay. from the lowest to highest mark. I will change this order by using DESC descending. So, it is now it is saved, okay. now it is from highest to lowest. You can there are various SQL commands you can use it and uh, change it, you can read those uh, things in our SQL section that video tutorials are also available. So, this is how by changing the query we can change the uh, way we want, we can apply filters, even we can join the tables also using the query part and we have seen how we are displayed. Now, we will go to the second table, one more table sample table is there PDO admin, we will display the records of that. Let us copy this code up to this and paste it below this, fine. Now, we will change the query, select star from that table name is PDO admin no order by year nothing, select star from PDO admin that is all. Here it starts with uh, id, name in this name place we will use user id. These are the columns available there, now in the class place we will use name, next is its password. Let me just copy this one more is there that is status. Status. Now, I will end this probably at the top I have not <coughs> here in the first record there is no end of the row. Okay, so, now we have uh, changed this now the for each also will change here first one is id next one is user id. So, we will say user id, next we will say name, next we will say password and one more let us paste this here, yeah. here we will say row status. TSTR file now table is also called. Let us save this refresh, we will see the second table is displaying or not. Yeah, you can see the second table is displayed and the status is given a true or false, whatever it is. And uh, now we will apply different filters. You can, as you student table, we have seen by adding a wire condition, we can change it. Let us say where status is only true. So, we will say from PDO admin where status equal to true. Say you want to uh, allow access to certain administrators only, so you can make it true. So, all the false will vanish. So, true only are displaying. Let us remove this, saved, sorry there is, okay, I cannot use a wire now, save this. Okay, so, different different uh, status are there true false a, eh? so based on that I can filter it. Now, we will move, so uh, you can understand the based uh, on where condition ascending, descending, you can change the SQL and get different uh, type of rows from the extract from the table. Now, we will go to the parameterized query.